So we're here to celebrate a couple of uh, announcements in Dryden, but today, uh, uh, most appropriately, starting with the Dryden Entertainment Series. Uh, glad to be here partnering with uh, the Dryden Entertainment Series to bring top-notch Canadian talent um, uh, from a variety of disciplines uh, in arts and culture uh, to Dryden. What does this in the city, representing the federal government, Kenora MP Greg Rickford delivered the first of two federal funding announcements early this January. The first, an investment of $24,000, will aid and support Dryden's Entertainment Series efforts to bring performing arts to the city over the 2015 and 2016 seasons. We're really thrilled that uh, funding has continued. These are hard times and we certainly appreciate the federal support for our program in order to bring, continue to bring quality entertainment. What we've been trying to do is work in full partnership with, uh, with these organizations to ensure that they can attract uh, through programming resources, a variety of different forms of entertainment, arts and culture uh, from across the country and bring them right here home. That's not an easy thing to do in such a vast region, year in and year out. Uh, and I've been committed to, to working with uh, the Dryden Entertainment Series to ensure that children and the greater community have forms of entertainment that they might not otherwise be exposed to. I think uh, in a land where the winters are long and the summers are short, uh, we look for, for ways to, to gather, to appreciate um, the offerings of, of the arts especially, which take us out of ourselves. They take us out of our little communities and into a big world. In the day's second announcement, Rickford announced FedNor support of just over $313,000 to help enable the city of Dryden to reconstruct Duke Street, an important roadway connecting Highway 17 to the downtown business core. I'm pleased to announce that FedNor will be contributing $313,560 uh, to, to help the reconstruction uh, of, Duke, of Duke Street from Colonization Avenue to uh, Casimir Avenue. Uh, this is a big project uh, and the federal government's role in it is big. Uh, we proactively reached out to uh, the mayor and council. We understood when we caught wind of the project that uh, economic times were and budgets were tight for, for the city. Um, and today's announcement actually represents a really effective partnership between the city the federal government and the provincial government. Well, it's going to mean that we'll be able to complete uh, Duke Street and uh, not cost the uh, citizens too much money because, number one, uh, this 313000 is going to be a big help to our, our project. And uh, it's something that has to be done because it is sort of a connecting link. And the provincial government has been very generous for us. And FedNor has stepped up and said, we will work together with, with you, Mayor and Council. And uh, I'm just so pleased that this is going on. We know that in order for businesses to thrive, they have to have infrastructure that supports and draws people to uh, our downtown core. That's what this project's about. We couldn't be more pleased to be playing a major role uh, in, uh, in resourcing it. In Dryden, I'm Tommy Johnson.